hamsterium. It's a very sad morning. When I opened the cage, something shot me. I found the mother hamster Papa had died under the wheels. I carefully picked him up. It looks like she's trapped under the jogging wheel. Look, poor thing. I will try to get it out. We are going to disassemble this jogging wheel. Disconnect one by one the connection of this thing. A bit difficult because the connection is very tight. I didn't know this thing could kill a hamster. Released. Slowly pull out the body of the hamster. Finally out. Let's put the jogging wheel first. Very sad. You have accompanied me almost two years. Now you passed away. This is also a valuable lesson for me to be more careful in the future. Later, I will pay more attention to small things like this, which could be dangerous. Goodbye, Papa. Hope you rest in peace there. Now let's bury Papa properly. Wrap it first with a tissue. Wrap it until all parts of his body are covered. Then we put it into the hole in the ground. Put the hamster's body carefully into the hole. Then cover with soil slowly. I bury this in a flower pot because later I will plant sunflower seeds. Tidy up the ground surface to make it look good. Then prepare sunflower seeds for planting. These are ordinary sunflower seeds that I bought at the traditional market. Put it in the soil and water it. Don't forget to give a tombstone as a marker. After that, we will move this pot to the balcony so that it is exposed to sunlight and the flower seeds can grow immediately. What do you think about how long these sunflower seeds will grow until the flowers bloom? Next, we're going to do something with the jogging wheel. I decided I would still use this jogging wheel. Of course, after a few tweaks, I cut out the part that could make the hamster get stuck. And this I place in a baby hamster cage. I really hope that in the future there will be no more tragedies like this.